to start at 10.15. Right. Ah, no. Scissors! Scissors! Again! Scissors! Leaving scissors here trying to start a show. And people live it. It's, it's a living room and, and TV studio for temporarily. Not a scissors room. Not, to, not doing sewing and stuff in here. Right. Uh, anyway, time is... Oh, Oops, oh, supposed to be start. So, morning! Good morning, everybody! And welcome to the Punctuation Show. Hope we're all awake. We've had a lovely week, Easter bank holiday weekend, and it's been fantastic. Uh, in actual fact, it's been pretty much cancelled, and the same as every other day right now. But it's all good. We're back to the homeschooling. We're coming back to help you uh, uh, just basically educate your children. All fantastic stuff. And um, let's see what time. Don't know why I keep looking at me watch. It uh, it stopped about uh, about a week ago now. I keep looking at it. At least it's right twice a day. So uh, without further ado, welcome to the show. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, ensure your phones are switched off and take your seats for the punctuation show. Show. Thank you very much, Facebook Live, and welcome to the Punctuation Show. I should just explain to everybody that uh, the fire effect that you saw on the screen there, it is just a visual effect, and to any children watching, please do not set fire to your telly. Mum and Dad will be very, very cross, particularly in these uh, coronavirus lockdown times. Imagine life without the telly. Now, without further ado, we're going to welcome you all to Facebook Live. It's the sh third show now, absolutely fantastic, going really well. Thank everyone for their support. Um, you can also follow me at uh, 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 on Instagram and Twitter, just at Punctuation Show. And any messages you want to send me, uh, please do uh, let me know, get in touch, drop me a comment to let me know that you're watching and say hello. Right, so without further ado, we have been asked, we've been asked for something that might be appropriate for slightly younger members of the audience, but Something, something that the older members of the audience will also appreciate because things are changing in the world of grammar, ladies and gentlemen. Things are changing. And uh, with these bad boys, things certainly have changed. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at... Exclamation marks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, exclamation marks are used to show strong feeling and strong emotion. Now, they're commonly used at the end of a command. Now, the younger people in the audience watching at home, they will know that commands are sentences that use imperative verbs or bossy verbs. Like when you're told to sit down, that's a bossy verb because someone's bossing you about. Someone's telling you what to do. Someone's been bossy. So bossy verbs like to stand there, things like that. They're bossy verbs and we often use an exclamation mark at the end of commands, sentences that are maybe telling us what to do because we want to emphasize that. Uh, occasionally, we might use an exclamation mark to imply that someone's shouting and getting in your face and telling you what to do. So we might use exclamation marks for these reasons. They're really handy to make your sentences more expressive. Now we know they show strong feeling and emotion, but I do need to warn uh, the next part of the show can get quite scary because in order to illustrate the effect that an exclamation mark might have on a sentence, 
it's gonna involve me pretending to get very angry and I get very, very scary when I'm angry, okay? So just uh, any parents in the audience, any parents watching at home, if you could just keep an eye on the children, make sure they're not too scared, that would be fantastic. So I'm gonna demonstrate the effect that an exclamation mark can have on a sentence. So, here we go. Some examples. You're in trouble! There's, some, there's someone laughing over there. They're, laugh, they're not supposed to laugh. It's supposed to be scary. You're not supposed to laugh. Not supposed to laugh. It's supposed to be scary. Right, okay, we'll try again. Next example, extra scary this time. Come back here! Come back! Come back here! Young girl laughing there. Don't know. Stop laughing. You're not supposed to laugh. It's not supposed to be helping your sentences. And uh, right, okay, extra scary this time. That's a ridiculous decision. No, still laughing. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the exclamation marks here are adding more feeling, they're adding more emotion to those sentences. Right, folks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's your turn! And we need a clever person in the audience. See if this week you can be the first person to get this right. Answers in the comments below to the following question. In which sentence would it be most appropriate to use an exclamation mark? In which sentence would it be most appropriate to use an exclamation mark? Okay, which sentence would be the most likely to be using an exclamation mark? Ladies and gentlemen, your choices are as follows. Stop! He was average height. Or, where's my jacket? Okay, folks, let's have a quick look at uh, some of the... Uh, oh, morning, Michael. Okay, oh, thank you very much, Lorna. Morning, Grant. Right, so let's see the first answers in the comments. Which one of these sentences would be the most likely to use an exclamation mark? And your time starts now! <laughs> See how we're doing. Uh, oh, we've got a oh, couple of answers there. Uh, oh, oh, Lawrence. Oh no, she, she, uh, we've got. Oh, uh, stop. Yeah, stop. I, I can't. I can't stop now. I'm in the middle of a show. So it's, it's Facebook Live. That there's, there's, there's must be at least five, six people watching. I can't just stop in the middle of a show. More people. Ta why do you want me to stop? Is a microphone? Is a microphone working? Can you see me? Can, why? why Everyone keeps telling me to stop. I don't understand. Stop. Ron, Ronnie, Liz, Elizabeth, Ian Story, Tank, Ian, Tank's telling me to stop now. What's going on? I stop. Oh, what? What? Oh, sorry. Sorry. So the answer. Oh, you mean the answer's stop. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry. You mean the answer's stop. Right. So we think the answer is actually stop. You did. I thought I thought, I thought, I thought you'd been rude. I thought you want me to finish. I thought you wanted to stop the show. I thought you'd been rude. I've been rude. Ladies and gentlemen, the answer, lots of you seem to think is stop. We've got some other answers down there, but let's see if you're right. The correct answer is stop. They're absolutely right. And the crowd are going wild. They're going mad. Ah, they're going, what? The answer is stop. Yeah, absolutely right. Well done for everyone who got that answer correct. The answer stop. Fantastic. Now remember, this is important, ladies and gentlemen. Exclamation marks also go at the end of sentences called exclamations. And this is where things have changed. It doesn't matter what you were taught at school. This is the way things are now. Exclamations, the sentence type exclamation, must include a verb and should start with how 
or what? Think of Red Riding Hood. What big eyes you have, Grandma. That is an example of an exclamation. So there you go. Uh, it used to be the case that you could put an exclamation mark at the end of any sentence and make an explanation. That's not the case anymore. So double check um, what we're being told in schools now. And this is the way it happens. As well as that, don't forget, don't use too many bossy verb in there as well. Uh, don't use too many. One is always more than enough. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got a special dance. We're going to limber up for those of you that slept in. Lots of you slept in this morning. I know that. Lots of you slept in and didn't do your Joe Wicks this morning. So we're going to do some finger aerobics. Can you all, has everyone got a finger? Everyone in the audience got a finger? Yeah, we've all got fingers there. That's wonderful. I did bring some spares. Did bring some spare fingers in? No, we've all, all got fingers. I want you to put your finger in front of you like this. And then we're going to go down and dot. Down, dot. Down, dot. Down, dot. And that's all you need to do for the exclamation mark dance. Fantastic. Um, that seems an appropriate time to mention all of the songs now from the shows are now going to be on TikTok as well. So if you've got any fans that are what, uh, TikTok followers as well into TikTok, you can do videos. I'm going to be releasing some of those soon. But the exclamation mark dance goes down, dot, down, dot, down, dot. And for any young people in the audience at home, you've got a very important part. I want you to shout as loud as you can. I want you to shout exclamation marks as loudly and as quickly as you can. Okay? It doesn't matter about the neighbours. It won't be that long. It'll be fine. I just, when, the, when I point the microphone at the screen at you, I want you to shout exclamation marks. Okay, but while doing your dance. That's it, fantastic. So, here we go, without further ado. Down, 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 down. That's right. Forgetting something. Ready? We use her. An exclamation mark. That's right. If we want to shout, the show us we use an exclamation mark. That's right. Want to explain? I'm sure you get the notion. Just draw a line on top of the dot. It can change the expression if you send us along. It goes at the end, replacing the song. All it is is a simple swap. It's never going to add some emphasis. If there's a point you don't want to be missed, if you want to show a shout, roar a back. We use an. We use an exclamation mark. That's right. If we want to shout, the show we use an motion, exclamation marks. That's right. If we want to explain, I'm sure you get the notion. It will alter the meaning slightly, not something that you should take lightly. Because of this, try not to overuse it. Put too many is a way to abuse it. If you're ever in any doubt, give the exclamation mark a big shout out. You want to show off shout? The roar of a we use it. Come on, nice and loud. We use an exclamation mark. Fantastic. We use them. an exclamation mark. Give us a like, give us a share, let me know you're there. We want to shout, the show is strong. We use them. an exclamation mark. Fantastic. We want to explain, I'm sure you get the Clap. notion. Clap your hands. We use them. Remember, we, we use an exclamation mark. That's right. If we want to shout, show us strong. We use an exclamation mark. That's right. Nice and loud. If we want to explain, I'll show you the notion. Give yourselves a round of applause. Absolutely fantastic shouting there. And as we know, with shouting, it's also a fantastic way to annoy mum and dad. Now, without further ado, we're going to zoom in on the screen. There. Okay. Right. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Rigby. Hello! 
And what seems to be the problem? I'm shouting! Yes, I can hear that, thank you. Good! I've been shouting all day! Have you indeed? Yes! I think I know what the problem is. You're using exclamation marks in your speech. I suggest that you go home and have a lie down. Will that cure it? No, but it will get you out of my surgery. You're starting to get on my nerves. Good day. <laughs> And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us to talk about exclamation marks. Now, as you know, it's not all finished just yet. There is some homework. First of all, if you can get yourselves to the punctuationshow.com slash quiz. There is a link in the comment section to this video. Go to the quiz as ever. We need to see if you have learned everything, anything from this session. We want you to go to the quiz section, take the quiz and see if you can be the first person to post your certificate. That's right. We give you a certificate. It is that good. That's right. That's right. You do get a certificate if you get the, all those questions right. Post your certificate in the comments and let's see you there. Let's see who's managed to do that. As well as that, not only do we give you a certificate, we are so good to you. We are so good to you at the punctuation show. You also get a free comic. If you get yourself over to the punctuationshow.com slash comic, now this is a secret link, it's not on the website, you need to take care of that, and again, it's just an exclusive, for those of you who are watching the Punctuation Show on Facebook Live, get yourself to the comic page, the Punctuation Show slash comic, all lowercase, you can download a PDF comic which will explain everything you need to know about using exclamation marks. So once again, folks, thanks for tuning in. Give us a like, give us a share, spread the word. Let's get people learning about punctuation and grammar. And we'll see you next week.